am the Lord of King, I am the King of Team, I bring the music team back. Hear my empirical rhymes added lyrical flow to this rap that's a fact. Fresh me down the scene, I flesh out my routine to slip in between the obscene and uninteresting. Just a smoke treat for my infernal machine, I've sent to blow up on this track. Let me explain why my name's in this game. Let me share with you my hardship and pain. Let my left brain analyze and devise all these rhymes so you might get some mice. And my folk tells and lies, and I'm here to surprise, terrified at a mice. Say I actualize truth, I locked up inside, you've been died by my insecure demons, released every life and belies in my triumph. I don't know everyone's hardships, didn't grow up with your pain. But I know that I'm the farthest thing from a thief looking for money or fame. I'm keeping it real, I over-reveal, I weep and I squeal. I'm caught to the real, an automobile that is stuck and get aimed at the cliffs of Unreal. Sad eyes shimmer gold, king leaps from his throne. doing everybody do i drink coffee no i don't do any uh drugs including caffeine i seem quite purist <laughs> no i i uh coffee's all right you know i don't know it's never like hooked me i've never been like i need my coffee you know people that get like all crazy about it that's how i am with candy but if i wake up every morning and i'm like i need my candy everybody's like weirdo but then they immediately turn around and chug their coffees so you know oops Ooh. Whatever. Mr. Llama SC gifted a tier one sub to MJ Showchat. Uh, I like great candy. I don't know what you're talking about. Ooh. 
Mr. Llama SC gifted a tier 1 sub to Frawl underscore SWE. Moo! Mr. Llama SC gifted a tier <laughs> 1 sub to Flightle Shrimp. Sugar's on par with caffeine. I mean, they're both, like, I don't know. Caffeine is fine. Again, caffeine, I don't really have any addiction Mr. Lama to SC in any capacity. Mr. Llama SC gifted a tier 1 sub to X Drippa. Moo! Mr. No. Llama SC gifted a tier My 1 pocket. sub to Asica 987. How do I donate money on Ooh. mobile interface? Mr. Lama SC gifted a tier <laughs> one sub is to iGouch. Uh, exclamation mark donate. Right there, the stream elements Ooh. link. Mr. Lama SC gifted a tier one sub to one trick BTW. Don't don't bother using Twitches there. Alright. What was that? Ten gifted subs? Nice. To the beautiful chat. All right. I think we covered them all. Your login has expired to Battle.net. What? How many before the bank turns off the card? Probably pretty soon. Uh, battle net. Oops. All right. Why is is Battlenet down or something? Moo. Mr. Llama SC gifted a tier one sub to Hom Three Watcher. Review the terms. What is going on? I guess we'll give Hom. Ah, that's it. New terms to be reviewed. That's it. All right. Greetings. This is not the one what? Streamer loot's now turned off? They better not have. Or I'd be so mad. Game back my streamer loot. What do we got? All right, let's uh, get a couple staminies. I guess I also want that in case there's some rubies that drop. Or diamonds. Blizzard cannot ban my favorite T2 streamer. I mean, if they ban us, that's okay. Because Llama RPG is getting ready, baby. Bones for your best for hell. Yeah, but summons are also good. They're both solid. Help me. Supposedly, if I got my math right, I can pay 50,000 channel points and donate two fiddy and llama is no worse off. Llama thing. Yeah, that sounds about right. Ooh, we have a gem shrine. I don't think I have any rubies. So we'll just uh, need to remember that that's there. Cheers from Brazil. Hello, hello. That's awesome, Gabriel. Has it been a post on the Lummer PG website in a year? That that sounds accurate. I've got the Discord. Let's I've been using Necro. that more for all that. Cold fire, thank you. 
Okay, I don't I don't love the amount of dudes here. Man, we're only level 22. I'm gonna have to level up more. We can definitely pick up a little bit of experience out here and hit 23, but. I get 125% of subscription payments. I don't believe that is correct. Whoa! That was all my life. BMJM44 with five gifted subs. Wow, we. Mwah. Gracias, senor. Donated to encourage taking it slow. That's right. We gotta we gotta slow it down a hair. I'm debating just switching over to a Ral Ral helm now instead of a tier tier helm. But it's only a debate. I only need one Ral actually. Thanks, Mariano. Maybe like a Ral Ruby? Ral tier is also not a bad idea. I think I have a ton of tier runes actually, so that would work out okay. Thirty-six months. Thanks, That's Green like Avenger. Years. Also, best non-chocolate candy. Dots. Best non-chocolate candy is Malwa. Donating more to encourage speed running directly into four souls at once. Okay. Wow. You got this llama. One more death coming up soon. Wow. I think not. No more deaths. Didn't we say we we're gonna run summon necro? Summon necros for the week. It's not about the end, it's about the journey. Are you saying take it slow then? I have too much mana and not enough life right now. The thing is I actually don't want to waste any rubies currently in a two open socket. I want to save that for a three open socket helm. But yes, exclamation mark, Llama RPG will be announcing it loud and proud often. It is now available to be wishlisted on Steam. And if you wishlist it, it means the world to me. Because that is a great way to get more publicity. The more wishlist on it, the more people that then there see it. Which is fantastic. Really, really helpful. So... I know you already did. I appreciate it. We had 847 people wishlist it yesterday, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Am I in the just chatting category? Oops, my bad. Diablo 2. considering dabbling in the new PoE League and enjoying it. We'll, we'll see where we're at on everything. Alright. Slow and steady wins the race. Wishlisted. Thank you so much. I mean, it's truly means a lot. 
And I am working hard. Warren is working hard. Nations, everybody's working hard to uh, try and get it. Make it a, a good game, too, right? Not just a game that we end up releasing there, but a game that we think is also really fun to play. Thanks, Rosa. But yeah, Alpha, we should hopefully have... I think... I mean, I've been wrong before with it. But I think we can have, like, in a month or so. I mean, it depends. We'll have, you know, to... There's always some extra thing you gotta do that you're like, what, I gotta do this too? But... I'm a believer. FT1, thank you. Thank you, Vlad. Thank you, everybody who's doing so. Wait, there's factions in your game? Uh, the factions are, yeah, you know, you've got your basic factions, right? You have, like, your llama faction, your kind of different animal kingdom pieces. And then you additionally have, um, you know, like, the witches faction and stuff like that. It's, it's a, I think it's going to be a really fun story, hopefully, to go along with a game that if I can get it paced out right and everything should be a good time. I I am uh, really a believer in it. I think there is a lot of good stuff and it's just a matter of, you know, can we get it all in there? But at the same time, oops, I also think we've We've already been like, what we've made progress on and what we do have in the game and how it looks and everything is great. So it's like, why wouldn't it continue to be great, you know? That's what I have to remind myself. It already, everything we've got implemented how we want is, is really nice. So, there's no reason it won't be more. Where did Mr. Camel go? He's just out grabbing a pack of smokes at the gas station. He'll be right back, he said. Any day now. Any, any day now. Maybe he'll come back for Llama RPG. Maybe that'll bring him back. Hey, Big Llama. A new rune word is currently in development. Yeah. It's called Crescent Poop. It gives minus 50% to the amount of times you have to wipe, reduce vendor prices on toilet paper by 45%. Also, it has 20 charges of fart of the Wolverine. PTR coming soon. Fart of the Wolverine. Jesus. It's so bad every time, and yet I love it. Hello, hello. I do with my G llama generated picks. I, they're cute. I like them, but they're not. You know, I mean, what do you do with AI art? AI art all looks the same to me. Dang it! Not a single ruby. That sucks. That really sucks. I. Uh, I appreciate it. I mean, they look cool, but it's. I don't know, it's AI art. It just like, it all looks like AI art to me, you know? Ooh. Ouch. Hail to you, 
Just yeah, it just, it doesn't, it, it, wow, poison dagger and poison dagger charges. It tries to, uh, to be more, but no way, Jamin, get out of here. Yeah, no rubies really sucks. That's like super bad, actually. Um, okay. Let's make a tear rail helm. Good day. Slow down and farm some. Greetings. We'll, uh, we'll take it nice and easy here. LK runs for some regular rubies. Good to see you. It's a possibility. Thanks, Miles. Greetings. No. no rubies? The real treasure is the time we've all spent together. Good luck with the necro. Yeah, I mean, that's nice and all, but throw me a ruby while we're spending time together, you know? That's all I'm saying. Give me a flawless even. I'll, up I'll upgrade it. Yes. I'll take the time. Alright. Tyrrell and the helm. Sixty-eight percent. Good. What made me decide on a JRPG? Uh a couple things. Number one, I feel like I mean, there's like three reasons almost. Number one, I I think JRPGs are really fun. They give you something that you don't get in an ARPG, which is time. So, you know, I mean, literally think of like chess. It's not an ARPG or, a, or an RPG, but it is time-based combat, essentially. And being able to sit there and spend 20, 30 seconds, or in chess, sometimes, you know, 45 minutes for them, right? On a, uh, on a move, on a strategy, is, is really interesting. You know? Just, just the turn-based nature, I think, in gaming is, is actually really fun. Um, and so, that's number one. Number two, the vision, the whole reason... For Lom RPG was because I woke up a lot of like half of Lom RPG was made from a dream. Um, I I woke up from a dream, and Lama TCG was also from a dream. So we've had a lot of dreams that have led to a lot of pieces of Lama games. Um, but I had a dream, and the dream was built around Lama uh, RPG being a turn-based game. So it was really built around the combat system of Llama RPG, which is a three-pronged combat. So again, if this if this isn't fun, then like, man, I'm gonna have to really, I'm gonna, we're gonna have to do a big pivot if it's not fun. That's gonna suck. So I guess that's what I'm most worried about when the alpha comes around. Is like, is everybody like, nah, this isn't it? Go back to the drawing board, and I'm like, no. But, um, yeah, so it's built around this three-pronged attack, essentially, where you have a spell action and two any actions, and you're kind of choosing multi-actions at the same time, so it's got typical, you know, rock, paper, scissors-esque pieces to it, but there's much more to it, you're doing more comboing with things. Um, that lower res is not fun. Right, there's there's just kind of more overall for all of that, and I'm hoping that it's interesting. Uh, and, and more so interesting than, you know, single-based, turn-based, which is still fine. I mean, a lot of great turn-based RPGs are just single. But, you know, I'm, I'm really hoping to have more than that, where it's not just, oh, it's this guy's turn. He's up. He goes and does his action. Oh, it's this guy's turn. He's up. He goes and does his action. You know? 
It's more like, hey, we're both deciding our actions at the same time. And, uh... You know, we're figuring out, like, what is... What we're doing and how we're comboing it. And, okay, if I use one defend, you know, one attack, one defend, and then a healing spell, that balances. But what if my opponent's going, you know, attack, attack, an offensive spell? Do I need to think about countering? Do I need to be more defensive and build up, you know, my stuff for the future? Whatever. Why not, Korean? Um, so, you know, I I'm hoping that there is a lot there that is... Just fun to think about, fun to do. Sounds complicated? Yes, but you should also, it's also an RPG where you can literally go build up your character and find better items and grind a little bit more. And so you can push yourself to be better at the game, right? Where you're like doing all this, you know, coming up with really good skill combinations and stuff like that. Or you can just go and get stronger and just farm things and then you can go and do content easier, right? So, I, I like having the balance there, you know, to, uh, to make it just a little bit better. Do I enjoy bacon? Of course. Um, are actions card-based? No. So I do love card-based actions. I think that's like really actually a fun way to, to, to play many games. Having it be like, hey, you have to use the card and the, you know, whatever. Um, but it is, it is not a deck builder or any card-based action thing. It is buttons, you, you have your actions, and you can essentially use whatever actions you want. Um, but they come at a cost of stamina. So the more stamina you're using, the more uh, you're going to have to rest, which opens up windows a little bit for your opponent then, right? The Infernal, thank you for the sub. Well, that's not a bad idea, Riches. Not even death can save you from me. Impossible. Impossible. Oh. Thank you, Sinferus, as well. Will I be on the Lumber PG soundtrack? Maybe I'll make a rap for it later. But for now, no. I'm I'm just working on the game. great, but not everyone loves them. You want me to give you a different character besides a llama? Sorry, man. It's called Llama RPG. You're a llama. It's just the way it is. You want an alpaca? That is a potential expansion, let you play as an alpaca. But for now, that's we're working on everything else. Uh... I mean, it is technically better than what we have. Ooh! 34 life with light and fire Two res? Canadian dollars from Terrence MC, saved and excited to play. That's nice! Thank you so much, Terrence!
I mean, that is, that is nice. We're gonna hold it for now. Why do I keep having to repair that? It's so expensive. Okay. Did you ever get the wish list count to work? Yeah, apparently it updates every day after. So it's not till the next day that you get to see. So as of this morning, we were at 847 wish list, which is amazing. Higher than I was expecting. I was expecting like 250. So, to everybody who wishlisted it, that's awesome. Thank you guys. So I'm hoping after today we're over a thousand, and I mean that's that's already such a cool number, you know. Okay, say so that that means that means so much to me. It takes half a second of your time, and it's just great. How come I don't check vendors for wands? Yeah, I mean, I could look for, like, a Bone Spear wand, but I'm just going to replace with Spirit when I get to Nightmare anyways. Will there be achievements? Yeah. Once we figure out, you know, more of the game and kind of get that stuff set. I mean, not figure out, but get more of the game implemented, all that. We will uh, have wish lists or achievements in the game as well. I, I honestly have a lot of really good plans for it. So that's why I'm just really hopeful that it's fun. I need a key. But the third reason I was going to bring up, besides it being the dream and all that, was I feel like the ARPG market, while it's not like everything is great in it, it's, the ARPG market is definitely waiting for a good ARPG. But making a good ARPG is is going to require, like, I don't know. I feel like you need a bigger company a little bit for it. Like, there's more with the net code that you got to worry about. There's more with, you know, just all of that. It's going to be harder to implement the combat. And I'd love to do that. But I feel like uh, it's also a little bit flooded, you know? Just kind of the, the market as a whole with ARPGs. Thanks, Quasi. There's just like a lot of, a lot of ARPGs. You've got PoE 1, PoE 2, Wilson, Diablo 2, 3, 4. You've got, you know, the new Titan Quest is coming out soon, right? We have whatever the moon base game is going to be. We have Wilson, we have Last Epoch. We have, you know, there's just like a lot of, a lot of stuff coming. It's an RPG with action. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know, BM. It was... Ooh, 27 to life over 6 all res. I mean, the life, I think, is worth it. Good afternoon. This is, I mean, this is nice. Don't get me wrong, but... Maybe, maybe later. So, you know... ARPGs just have a lot, and it's a lot of bigger companies than me competing. And, uh... But, like, the turn-based... I don't know. I don't feel like there's... There's as much competition in that. And additionally, I feel like with what I'm going for... It's better to watch here YouTube. Whichever. Whichever one you prefer. I feel like between, you know... Like, with what I'm going for on it, I'm trying to create uh, a game that is a bit more of, like, really, an, you know, an MMO JRPG in a way, almost. So it kind of has the, you know, MMO RPG elements to it, but it's not, and it's not, uh, you know, got that same combat. It's a little different. So, I don't know. I, I feel like that is 
good. It's it's a way that you know it gets to be kind of different. So and that, and that's also what makes me really excited for it. Like when I think about an ARPG that I'd be creating, whatever, I can think of other ARPGs that kind of exist and have similarities and all this and whatever. But when I think of a JRPG that is got what I want and is similar to what I'm really aiming for and stuff, I'm not sure it exists. What? Huh? I'm no way. Everyone, Lama just announced he's out to replace World of Warcraft. Yeah, exactly. But favorite JRPG. It's hmm. a tough one. That's really a tough one. I don't know. What games do I play now that are like Llama RPG? I mean, that's the thing. There, there's not really a lot of games that are like Llama RPG. It's, it's got a mix of, you know, maybe some like RuneScape mixed with Diablo 2. You'll see plenty of influence from there. Mixed with World of Warcraft. Classic. Mixed with... I don't know. Mm. Borderlands, tiny bit on some tier pieces. One sub to scout XM. G Dornells, thank you! <laughs> exactly, Case. Little more leveling. We'll be good to go. Uh bizarre. They're adding rifts to D4. Yeah. They're they're literally adding greater greater rifts. But then in the talk they sat there and tried to explain to us like what greater rifts were. Like we didn't know in this new way, or like they didn't just copy paste it over, which like, you know what, fine, you're bringing riffs into it, that's, you know, that's fine. But let's not pretend like it's a new thing at all. <laughs> they really, they really made the game Diablo 3. Wow, forget that. Jesus. Yeah, they even had a Freudian slip twice and called it Rifts instead of Pits. Good day. Because again, we, we know what it is. Also adding forging potential and exalted items. Yeah, I mean, they... They, they took some of Last Epoch, some of Diablo 3, and put it together. And you know what? I think it will make the game a little bit better. Is it going to make the game, like, amazing and godly and all this? No, I, I, I think it's, you know, if you're settling into becoming a darker Diablo 3, I don't think the game is going to be uh, amazing. But I think it'll be better than it was. My RPG is your dream game? I mean, it's literally my dream game. Do you think riffs as an idea are bad for ARPGs? Um, I think time-based content like that isn't the best. And 
Like, they're okay, almost as like a little side thing. But when you when you time gate content like that, it really just forces a meta even more of like, well, if you want to get higher in, you know, the rifts, whatever, in the taunt, you have to do it in a certain time, and so it just really pushes very specific iterations of builds and Unicorn Overlord, what's that? So, you know, I, I think it's like, meh. I, I, but the thing is, you know, I think having end game, you know, content that's kind of scalable in that way is easy and a nice way to, you know, provide more. But I, I do think it needs, oh, you're not alone there. I do think it needs a little more, like, something with it, you, you know. Like, just having it be that way and, again, having it be time-based... I think it's a little bit lame. Let someone spend an hour in there trying to go through some crazy hard rift, you know? Like... Why why do you have to block it out? Do I still have the sweet llama merch? Exclamation mark merch. Like, that's almost even cooler is when people come up with these wild builds that, oh, it's, you know, it can't, like... Do everything, but how far can I take an Inferno Sorceress? Can Inferno Sorceress kill Ubers? You know, whatever stuff. But when you time gate it, it's just like, no, she can't. Because it has to be done in 10 minutes or less. So that part I think is lame. Otherwise, I don't know. I think if, like, the combat and everything really felt a little better it'd be a little bit better but to me it's kind of a little stale with it just like going down rushing through gathering up groups of mobs killing the group going to the next one you know i just i don't think the way that rifts are implemented Excites me enough. I'm just trying to find your tips playing as Bonespear Necro. Get a. Do you have a point in Golem? Get a Clay Golem. And then a point in Iron Maiden. You can just get a wand with Iron Maiden. If you want, even. And then just Iron Maiden Durial and. Keep dropping summons. Keep dropping the Clay Golems on him. If you don't want to do that, a mercenary can be good. You can shift heal him with some potions, try and get him a little bit of gear. And then you shift one, shift two, shift three, whatever, to give him potions. You can keep him alive while you bone spear from afar. Why don't I focus on Gary Nutmore? Uh, right now isn't the time I feel we need to focus on gearing up. I mean, we're, we're, you know, we're doing all right. I'm going to wait till I get that, like, later, later on piece of, uh, you know, the spirit sword. Like, around that time is when there's a little more focus. And again, you know, we've had more of that focus, just not exactly always work out exactly for us. But we've had more of that focus of getting more rubies and the diamonds and all that. And that'll be, you know, Nightmare will really be putting more time towards that. Also, drink Thawing Potions before you enter to fight Duriel, and give your Mercenary Thawing Potions as well. Follow me. stuff I could farm now though. 
Not really. Like, that's the thing. I could farm a little bit right now. But, for instance, I want a four open socket sword. I can't farm that right now. I want... I mean, I guess I can now. Technically, I'm in area plateau, but it's kind of just like what I'm doing, killing stuff. And I want Amrune and Thalrune and whatever for sort of spirit runes. If I get rubies, I don't want to put them in yet. Because I actually want to wait until uh, later on. When I have a three open socket helm, which again, we're not really getting at the moment. What about doing right click with it? Well, if you right click to slide, then I mean, I guess you're taking off any skill on your right click though, which doesn't feel as good. You could you could do it with, you know, mapping that slide to somewhere else, but I I mean, I had shift sliding and I tell you what, man, it was so good. G Dornell, thank you for that gifted sub over to Scout, by the way. Do appreciate that. Exclamation mark doesn't work very well anymore. They did such a good job with D2. They did. Ooh, a crystal sword. That should be four open sockets. Crystalline passage. Very nice. All right, so we got our four open socket sword. The frenzy's actually kind of scary. We're going to find out how many people wishlisted RPG on Steam. Yes, so it's every day that it shows the previous days. So like I said, we had 847 who went people who went to exclamation mark Lama RPG and wishlisted the game. Yesterday, hoping after today we can be over a thousand. I don't know how many wish lists those top top games have. Probably hundreds of thousands, but you know, I I mean I thought a thousand wish list would be an amazing first like week, so or a couple weeks even. What's the music like in the game? It's fantastic. What, what zone music do you want to hear, devil? Do you want desert, fire caves, virtual, castle, intro, water, ice, industrial, plant? Um, what else is there? Don't charge me, bro. You want plant land? All right. Plant land it is. Coming right up. Where did I put that? Uh, and... Plant land. Oh, there's also a swamp. Plant land. Here we go. 
RPG wishlisted. Wish Thank you. Too distracting. Hey, potentially, hopefully not. Can there be souls on normal? be available for separate purchase. Uh -huh. you can buy it separate or in combination, whatever. Will there be in-game purchases? Uh, the in-game purchase that you can make is essentially donating to the game. So there will be bosses that you can fight that you can essentially, you know, one boss will be like expansion, the next boss will be raid bosses, whatever. And so you can kind of like donate towards what kind of content you'd like for us to develop next. Otherwise, no, there's not in-game, like, purchases beyond that. You're not buying cosmetics, you're not buying stash space, you're not buying, you know, any sort of power or anything like that. Just, uh... Just support, if you wish. Music's fantastic, thank you. I like this actual breakdown bridges and riffs. Yeah, I mean, tried to make them more like really cool songs. I don't know. Do you think the Q1 2025 release date is accurate? I don't know. I just had to put a date in. They required something, and Yeah, try, trying to make it. <laughs> Thank you. Is 
So again, I mean, this, this alpha is going to be very telling, which is why I wanted the alpha to be enough, you know? I want the alpha to be more than just kind of a really, really early alpha. Which is still, like, really early, don't get me wrong. There's plenty of bugs we're going to be finding and all that stuff. But, hi, Moo Girl. But I wanted it to have enough that you could get a good sense of, like, how combat went. And if you had fun leveling up 10 levels and doing, you know, the combat for that, right? Should offer a physical limited edition for early orders. Where do you even, do you just like burn it onto a CD? How do you even make a physical edition nowadays? like a simple quest line delving into a cave yeah i mean it's like very you're going to get me ice cream you didn't get me ice cream you did what you said no what now you want ice cream i mean do i just put it on a on a usb drive and you get a little llama usb So this is actually a good, a good question segue piece. Moo girl, can if you are feeling up to it, shift slide sounds like the way to go, bro. It was so good. It was absolutely amazing. I hope they do it. Can you go get some ice? I'm just kidding. Um, can you bring my backpack up in or around my closet? You're busy playing magic? Eating a taco? Okay, well that, that, that does sound like a lot to do. Yeesh. Hmm. I would pay actual money for a physical version of the game. Maybe get a signature on a card or something to make it extra special. Thanks, Fez. Yeah, so that's... Again, that's the question. Like, do I, do I just put it on a USB drive? Because, I mean... Or do people, like, still do CDs? And you just burn it, you put it on a CD. of the ancients. Yeah, I mean, I don't think computers have CD drives anymore, really. So, maybe just put a Steam code within. Oh, Jesus. I almost tallied to my death because I thought I had... Thought I had uh, the other thing over there. Yeah, so what I wanted to, to do was a book instead because I wasn't sure about that. But I thought what I would do is create um, and annotate a uh, book that has the creation of Llama RPG. Wow, immune to lightning and normal. So, like, I literally have my notebook with, you know, 50 pages, plus different online drawings I've made and various things just all around. And, uh... So the thought was, what if I pull that all together... Bind it in a book and then kind of annotate it and just give kind of, you know, and have red ink, whatever, where I discuss, like, this is 
where this is this is the original thought process of how this system would work before it got changed to this or when I realized this happened. Thanks, Nathan. Hopefully. I thought that could be a fun thing to just like have. And I can like sign the book or whatever, so then it's got, you know. Making it would be a lot of work, but. Just PDF would probably be the most pain free. Yeah, but I feel like sending a physical copy of it, you know, would be really cool. Like a PDF is great, but. I don't know. Makes it less special. AI to make a book? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, exactly. Stamp it with the llama emblem and melt it with cam camel wax and all that. Wait, what's ESG? Yeah, it's where you melt down Mr. Camel and then Use the wax to stamp. What dream gear would I want at the end of normal? Give me Duriel Shell again. A bunch of perfect rubies. What a map. Wait, whoa. Where? Wow. Um, maybe a rock stopper, honestly, as, as the helmet. And then I'll perfect ruby that. 100 to life ammy. Won't be at the end of normal, but I'd take it. Shaco would also be dope later on. Again, not normal. Environmental, social, and governance. Yeah, buzzwords. That's a really, really massive level, too. Diablo, Holy Fire, Hardcore Paladin, and died. Oof. Thank you very much for the two subs. <laughs> very much appreciate that. PS on cloud based on these but then you can make it wrong. Hey Mr. Llama SC underscore. Hello. I just picked up some food, but it's not that great. It's from a place that serves Thai. Huh, well that sucks. Time Sorry to, to fit these nuts. Okay. Another gem shrine we can't take advantage of. You didn't get me, I... Gosh dang it. I had a chipped... Oh man, I forgot the chipped emerald. 
Ruined. You threw me off, Binary. Come on. Not cool. Super not cool. Ruin my gem shrine. It's the longest since interacted with gem. The oldest gem in your inventory is the one. Challenges are always fun to watch. It can be rough. Big life, big life. Hey, it's okay. This would be dope. I said thank you. Act 5 Hell Ancients <laughs> died. It was very sad. Let's do it. 
Veil time. So this is what the ancients got. Now, thoughts on stealth and hardcore? I mean, I'm using it right now. I probably, when I get to Nightmare, will ditch it and use that life armor we found instead. But I mean, FCR, FHR, FRW is still really nice, like... down the boss fights are more challenging yeah I mean the boss fights are meh you know that's just unfortunately what they are it's an old game least enjoyable d2 build I mean bone necro I actually enjoy bone necro but it does it's really rough on the start it's really bad I mean it's it's a rough build um okay. Let's go to Nightmare. Good day. And okay, our res are actually looking pretty good still. So I'm gonna keep rocking as is. All who we do lose a little bit of life beware. from doing so, but Punch bar was rough. Attempts too many. Too many attempts. And yet, with all these attempts, I still don't remember. Do I respec now? Do I respec later? I respec now. I just get out of Clay Golem and move this down into Bone Prison, which is nice. I respec later, I get more into Corpse Explosion. I think both work. Can I do either one? Oh, 
Only support the mercenary, no battle bosses yourself. Yeah, I did a mercenary only run. He got to like Diablo, I think. And then failed at Diablo. Diablo killed them. Which is not unexpected. This is a real challenge. It's just a lot of ways that you die really fast. <laughs> Put it to plainly. I step closer to the inevitable disappointment of the no vitality necro. Here's Daddy Bazo sub to soothe you. Thank you. Appreciate that, Lejeune. This is the run? I think so. I think this is the run. And I know, I've said that the last nine runs, but this time I think it actually is. Ooh, hello, my Dora. Hello, heavy boots! Yes, please give me the faster run walk. Okay, that's dope. We like that. Oh, I'm so fast. How do we celebrate when we complete this? Three habaneros? Keep those habaneros out of my mouth. Ugh. Natty's boots are like the ultimate boot for us, but... Heck, man, just to get some 40 fasters right now is really nice. This is tough. Any fire cold Ooh. explosion, you're gone. BMJM44 yeah, gifted a tier 1 sub to Encha. Thank you, BMJ. Appreciate that. I don't want to hear the word habanero again. I can't carry anymore. The last habanero is painful to watch. It was uh, extra bad because I picked the smaller habanero. I was like, oh, smaller equals less. But apparently, the smaller the pepper, generally the hotter it is. Who would have known? I can't carry it. So. That was unfortunate. Just based on seed count. Whatever. I This one had a lot of seeds, my dude. Tell you that much. This one was jammed with seeds front to back.
Where is the waypoint? Where is the waypoint? Is it over there? Thanks, cute. You too. Uh huh. Ooh, that'd be nice. I want Cyber Zone today. Warren, 11 o'clock central tomorrow? Let's uh, talk with Crass about any sounds, music, audio needs. Yeah, okay, Dragon. Does that work? 11 a.m. is a tough ask. Do you sleep normally? You woke up at 1 p.m. today? What? All right. Um, you said you need Found Dungeon in Space. That's what it is. You said you need uh, a lot more like audio sounds, right? You didn't like the ones that were in there. any list of that or anything that would be great be everything we need. We might need one more ort to make the thalt. <laughs> that's, a, that's a sweet countess. Alright, let's see. Let's see what we got. Tal, blank, ort, am, ral, ral, ral. Okay, so we only have one ort. So we need two more orts. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good day. Or just give me a Thal rune. That also works, you know. Keep it simple. There are a bunch of sounds. A lot depends on what you want and when. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know enough about all the sound stuff. Now we probably want sounds for the different weapons hitting. For the equipping on and off, gold, talking to a vendor. What else? We're copying D2, so let's use D2 as a reference. Fair point. Do we have a. Sounds for moving on grass versus sand. Yeah, like there's definitely the movement. 
Though Diablo 2 doesn't really have that. Like, the movement on the ground. It's very light. I guess this is a great way to hear the audio and what they have. <laughs> is the guy following me? Uh, that was my golem, I think. That's who you're referencing. Do I want more ambient noises? It probably makes sense to have some of them at least, right? Again, Diablo doesn't really have it. It sounds amazing. It's pretty quiet, actually, though. I just want Thol or Ort. Alright, there you go. Amazing. Diablo's gothic core. Let's hear let's hear out here. Good day. I guess there's a little bit of like the water. Hello. Woo! Twenty to life. Life me up. Hey, light res ain't bad either. A little cackle from fire. Yeah, I mean it's really pretty plain in it. Okay. Yeah, I'm making a making a list of that stuff. Probably be good. All who oppose me, beware. But yeah, they really don't have a lot for noise. Like, I'm not sure there's even, like, wind blowing or anything. But, long RPG again is not gothic horror it's more cozy relaxed so it probably makes sense to put some of that stuff though if we have music playing does that interfere with the music you know this place has the stench of demons about it I mean, there's some noises. Insects and stuff. Not everyone will play music, that's true. I'll be making spirit. Okay. It's 
So that's good to that's good to hear. I definitely think the music can carry a lot, but having fire make sounds, so fire crackling, maybe different sounds when you're running on, you know, different grounds isn't a bad idea. I should honestly look at the list of files that uh, Diablo 2 has for all the sounds. Yeah, like leveling up and all that stuff, the various UI ones. That's right, I need a list. Oh, it's right there. Wow. Playing with fire without bone prison here? I have my clay golem. It is alright. Through that micro. Were there any sounds that you did like from the set that you are using you think were good? So I can I can at least tell him like don't worry about these ones. Cameron in level 76, two times spirit enigma. Where can I gear up my character? Uh, Mephisto and Dariel. Both of those two will be decent spots. You can look for, you know, Shaco, Arachnid Mesh, that sort of stuff. Are, those are great places to start. If you want to be a little bit more, you can go into like chaos and that sort of stuff. Cows, Trav, whatever. Try and get yourself a. Uh... something dope there. Maybe get a high rune or something. I mean, you have Enigma already, so, you know, I figure, like, Hodo or something is your next upgrade if you get a Vex for a weapon. Cow's kind of weak for Hammerden. Yeah, I don't love Cow's as Hammerden, but it's okay. It is a-okay. What up, Shane? Mm -mm -mm. By the way, while we are chilling, if you are, uh, I guess let's make our spirit now. If you've already gone to exclamation mark Lama RPG and wish listed Lama RPG Farm to Fable, my game coming out. I should say our game. Warren is plenty part and other people involved as well. 10 life, 12 cold res. Not the FCR, it's probably just not worth. Um, then you can go to exclamation mark puzzles. They are our sponsor and just for today and tomorrow. And uh, tonight it's pretty easy to roll through. 
Let's reset and do this. If you get to level 5 headquarters, and then do a raid in an alliance, it will uh, benefit the stream, both of those. They're, they're pretty easy once you've done one than the other. Teleport and 33%. Let's go. Let's take it to 60. So, it's just a nice, nice, simple, easy thing. So 33, 43, 53, 63, 73, 78. 70, so we're actually on the next breakpoint, or I could just go to the 48 breakpoint and get a little more red. It's tricky. Okay. Well, Lumber, do you have awesome, awesome opening videos? Um, no. Good day. <laughs> you know what? If the game does well enough, eventually, yes. But, uh... But... That's, that's like, you know, something we'll have to farm out or have someone who'd be willing to help out make or whatever stuff. I mean, it's just, this, this video, this game is 100% funded by myself right now. Ah, eh, moo girl. But, you know, that's money I could be using to buy nice toys or something for myself. So, additional things of, of that nature are uh, okay. kind of extras, you know. That, that, that would be added to the wish list. Thank you. That would be something like, hey, the game's doing really well. Maybe we set up a little, you know, goal for it in the game, whatever. get some cutscenes going but yeah right now the the cutscenes are not not no, no cutscenes at the moment uh, the focus is on the gameplay more and you know story and that stuff but I would kept that charm for Andy fight I mean I have a lot of poison res. And Andy's not a big deal. We'll just encapsulate her the whole time and she'll be dead, so. I can't. I can't. Just doing a zero on profit is already great for the first game. I mean, look. If this game breaks even, that would be a miracle. <laughs> Warren thinks it's unlikely. But, the more of you that wishlist it, the slightly higher possibility and chance we have. Lacking a gameplay video? Yeah, we don't have a, a good gameplay video up yet because there's not a good gameplay piece up yet you know it's it's still alpha spot so uh
But my bigger goal is not to turn a big profit from it. It is to make a game that is super fun. That is the first and second goal. Favorite boots in D2? Alders or Natalia's, probably. I like both those. Mm, you know, let's jump across and then see what's in there, vampires. Not unless I die. This is the run. Blizzard Source's main skills. It max all the synergies, and then, especially if you have a Cold Sunder, sunder max uh, Cold Mastery. Those should be all your points. After that, you know, maybe just put a point in Warmth or go towards Energy Shield or something if you want, if you have something still. Just a fun boot. Even covering 8% expenses is a great motivation to make another. Yeah. Level 32. Night Randy looks like she's from Avatar. A little bit. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. Wow, it chipped Ruby. Finally get a Ruby and it's Back chipped. Sheesh. Llama game designer for D5. There you go. Nah, I mean, the plan is Llama RPG, Llama TCG, and Llama ARPG. I cannot as you get to hear it all. Hmm. Two open sockets on that is nice with 15 light res. I wish it had more. It's just not quite enough. What about Llama Hub? What game is that? What's TCG? Trading card game. How do I find more information about it? Exclamation mark Llama RPG. Uh -huh. We'll take you, uh, get you some info on it. Let's just grab this. Exclamation mark RPG Discord. Gets you a little more. A oh, nice train down there. Almost spirit child. That would have been nice. Not bad. Plus one skill. Solid. Can't be frozen. It's useful. No clap for Act 1. We got more to do. So, yeah. The, the Steam tries to give, you know, the pretty standard rundown of it all.
And then further information, again, is found on the other places. How many levels on Bone Prison? It's at 11 right now. It's a synergy for Bone Spear and Bone Armor, so it's actually like a fantastic synergy, not just getting it for the Bone Prison. Should the Necro be able to move through the Bone Prisons? Hmm, that'd be interesting. Couple made it to Act 5, Force and Thank you very much. Welcome, everybody. How is your stream? You guys had a nice time. First hardcore at the moment. The villain nightmare. Solid. Ooh, a ruby. Let's go, baby. Just a regular ruby. Juggernaut 76 with five gifty jifties. Thank you so much. Mucho apreciado. Something like that. Maybe doing some LK runs in Nightmare here won't be a bad idea. Just, I need to get some rubies, man. I've got one chipped and one regular. Like, yeesh. We can always hope for the Nightmare Hellforge perfect flawless combo. You know, maybe get the, a ruby ruby as well. That is true. How are we doing on block? 68%. Pretty solid, actually. solid. Yeah, Duress on Bone Mancer makes no sense there, unfortunately. Armor. 
Treachery is nice with River Flame, yeah. That's fantastic. Flawless Topaz? Not quite. Not quite. Infinity or Crescent Moon, fast SS for Nova Source. Um, for Nova, you're probably running Infinity because you're right in the mix. For Lightning, Crescent Moon is usually better to snag if you can there. Flawless Ruby! Let's go, baby! We went from no Ruby to two Ruby in one act. I love it. Is Lama ever going to speedrun again? Yeah, definitely. It's been a little bit harder to speedrun with, you know, a baby under one lately and having to be more available to go jump over to dad mode and whatever, but I think in the future we'll be able to get stuff sorted a little more, have more time for some, you know, speedruns, things like that. Speedrun some Lum RPG, you know, all the good stuff. Conviction spreads pretty fast. It's not one frame, but it does it does move at a decent speed. All right, that's that is nice getting those rubies there. Greetings. Hey. Hey. How you doing, Z's? Yeah, I'll I'll upgrade the flawless with the shrine. Because I mean, there's a lot of ruby needs we could have later on. Saigons, everybody drink. Two seconds, same as every other or speed. Okay. I can't carry you. I bet it'll be fun watching someone find a speedrun strat blow my mind. Oh, I'm excited to see like what people come up with. Hopefully it's not just like completely easy game breaking stuff. But it's like, you know, actually requires a lot of skill and thought and whatever. Not just like, when you click on this, it just automatically ports you to the end of the game. <laughs> this place is as dark as a door. Oh, Warren. I, it should be fine, I imagine, but I was thinking of having a little, like, jump that you can unlock. 
So maybe we may want to talk about that. Wow! 20 faster with 14, 15. They're, they're, uh, oops, sorry. I mean, I think I'm going to go with those. Yeah, we'll just have to, to work on a movement thing. Like, once you're, you know, halfway through the game, you can unlock the jump ability. That'll jump you, like, two or three squares. And maybe ignore, you know, you could, like, jump up a cliff as well instead of just down. Strongest untwinked. Um, untwinked. Probably just the frenzy. Throw barb was all right. Untwinked, but you, you'll want to twink him more. I think. I think frenzy's gonna be stronger. Yeah, those are those are really nice boots. I played V Rising. I don't remember. I there's, there's another V game that I played. But I thought that one was Vampires. So maybe that's not V Rising. Which one is that? V Rising is Vampires? Where you like go around and day and night cycles and you like hunt certain hunter dudes or whatever and stuff. You build you build your camp. Is that that one? How slow is it to get to 30 as a druid? Not that, not that slow. Pretty, pretty quick, honestly. Replenish life 15. No, oh, wow. 27 life. Still, just gonna be better for us there, but it's interesting. Hello. I feel like 30% of Steam games are horror survival. Yeah, that's another like category that just got flooded with stuff. How far are we getting? Oh, good call. All right, the Llama RPG notebooks. No, we're not done now. I just wanted to...
Okay. We are level 34. Create. Survey name. Please rank these. This is really fast. Almost ready. Up on this. Question two. No. All right, we'll just leave it at question one. Save. Okay, and how do I collect responses? All right, what's this new login agreement, right? Yada, yada, yada. Verify email. What?
That's so stupid. Does that make any sense? Alright, never mind. We'll have to we'll have to just improve it later, I guess. That's dumb. Survey Monkey being like, you can't do ranking anymore. Ranking is a paid feature. What? Ranking is a basic question type. Used to be free. Getting paywalled, man. Well, the last five uh, gets harder, you know. <laughs> Platform decay continues, yep. It also used to tell you earlier that it was a paid feature. This time it lets you build the question first and then it tells you. Hey, Mel. Fantastic. Happy to have you here. How's it going? This bizarre dimension. have them make sense. Uh, we don't have skill synergies in the game. At least not at the moment. But probably something we're leaning away from. Synergies were cool, but also super, like, defining, you know. Speak with the dead, thank you very much. Like, it's, it's almost kind of nice not having synergies and allowing people to spec a little bit more all over the place. Create more combinations. So. That's how it's starting out, at least. And... Yeah, Serendies make single skill like more required a bit for sure. It definitely plays more into the like idea of really becoming a specific kind of character, which is, you know, a fun thing in itself a little bit. You are a cold sorceress, and so you have your cold mastery and your blizzard and you know whatever, and so you're kind of really playing into that and you can dual spec but you're not really doing much more than that and whatever but it also you know with that of course comes the uh, issue of well now you're a cold source that is what you are and you don't get the option to do cold, fire, and light. You can't be frozen orb, nova, and fireball. And honestly, I, I kind of like that idea that you could do those three. Now, obviously, you do have cold mastery, fire mastery, light mastery, so that would be a little bit tough, but that's all really nice. Let's 
strongest horse possible with three elements. Ugh. You can be firewall blizzard static. Yeah, I mean, sure, static you don't really need, you know, kind of 1.1 wonderish more. But I think especially when they mix and match and they, if they work together, that's where it's really cool. So now that the NDA has lifted, I can talk a little bit more about Path of Exile 2. I released one video on my YouTube channel where I talked about WASD movement within it. I'm also going to release one where I talk about skills, difficulty, and overall thought um, of just the game in general and everything game was insanely hard. It was Dark Souls for ARPGs, even more so than No Rest for the Wicked. It was wildly hard. Um, but they, uh, what was, I, what was I saying there before? But, oh yeah. The synergies and the combos with skills was really cool. So like, you would lay a firewall down and then you would shoot your projectiles through the firewall and they would ignite. And so that's how you would have like ignited, you know, sparks and stuff. Like, there was a lot of cool, cool things like that. Did Ziz find it hard? Every person there found it hard. I mean, this was a room with 40 of some of the best ARPG players and Path of Exile players. And people were dying left and right. How do I always fuck my man? This is so insane. 40 of the best and me. Um, yeah. And people were still just like, everybody died multiple times, easily. It was... It was wild. I mean, it was so hard that every single one of us was like, they should probably tone it down a little bit. There's no way that, like, your average Joe is going to enjoy this game at the current difficulty. Because the bosses, I would say, like, Dark Souls bosses are probably a little bit harder. I mean, many of these bosses were plenty hard, don't get me wrong. But on, on average, I die more to, like, Dark Souls bosses. But on the way to Dark Souls bosses, I would die less. But here, like, white mobs oh, okay. were so strong. Hi, Raggets. Good to see you. How is WSD? Good and bad. It was it was good. It was very fun, but it was very clunky. It it's it still had some clunk to it. It needs some help. I gave my suggestion of shift sliding. Which worked really well. He was a deluded fool who got too close to true power. Al Kaiser said it should be a bit harder, but he dies a lot too. <laughs> POE2 free to play? They're probably doing the same model. Free to play, sell MTX and all that stuff. I mean, it was, it was just funny. I mean, it was wild. Everybody was getting stomped on. And like, so we were in the room and there were a bunch of journalists as well. And holy cow, the journalists were getting absolutely destroyed. And when I say absolutely destroyed, I mean like after an hour of playing, they hadn't made it past like Blood Raven and they all just gave up. <laughs> That's how hard this game was. They just were like, all right, that's enough. 
It wasn't just like one journalist was wiping on a boss for 50 minutes. It was all of the journalists. There, there's, I mean, God. In the first area you walk out in, there's this like ice boss that killed at least half of us. And then in the next area, there is a worm boss, kind of like in the den of evil, essentially. And that's the boss that all the journalists just got absolutely smashed over and over on and got stuck. And uh, just kind of continued from there, you know. It was, it was wild. A wild experience. No mercy whatsoever. That's true, Viz. RPGs are solo games mostly. I mean, I don't know. Kind of, but like, that's. I feel like uh, they're just not built very well for multiplayer now. Like, Diablo 2 was such, and still is, such a great social experience. Here we two sounding hype. It, it was wild. It was wild to play. But I enjoyed it, I did have fun. Mob should get AoE and CC skills. Oh man, the the full CC Diablo 4 mobs though were horrible to fight. Great points on the D4 take. Thank you, Patrick. I think they like ooh, unique amulet! No cousin, no cousin. I hope so. Could be like Eye of Atlich as well. Crescent Moon. I hope it's not that. Hello. I came like I think they improved Diablo 4 with the latest changes. No go! Let's go, baby. All right. So our fire res is like totally godly. One ninety six. So it's even too high. So I definitely can swap out gloves. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm swapping. That's probably the same. That's oh yeah, I have the helm. That's right. We can make the the helm will be good to to put like. Maybe we just go Ort, Ort P Ruby P Ruby. But we also can swap the armor and then. Hmm. Thanks, Morrison. Greetings. So, Maze, they're zooming out the camera. They're meeting my bare bones expectations. That's the thing. They are doing some small changes. They're making it a little bit less restrictive, which they needed to do from the start. Again, I feel like all of us told them. 
Why are you putting so many restrictions on? So they're listening there. I'd love treachery. And they're doing that. They are uh, making the camera a little bit zoomed out a little bit more, which is nice. They're removing all the garbage affixes. I think items are still gonna be pretty plain. They're, they're gonna be D3 items, you know. You're gonna have main stat, crit, CDR, damage, and that'll be pretty much it. But it's better than what it was. Like, even that just is, is it's not great, but it's better than the damage while you're in the act of drinking a Powerade and the sun is setting, you know, like. Improvement over that for sure. But they also literally just added greater rifts in and called them pits. Pick the level of the pit that you're going to go down into where the monsters get harder and you have a timer where you have to kill and fill up the bar. And when you fill up the bar, you'll fight a boss. And if you do it all within a timer, you'll complete the pit run. Like, it's not kind of greater rifts. It is literally rifting. Named pits. There is there is zero difference. <laughs> like Nightmare Dungeons already had enough of a rift feel to them, but it was slightly different. So, that part I was like, huh. What even makes good endgame in ARPGs? It's tough, but I mean, I think you can look at, you know, a couple of various things. Like, I think Path of Exile has very good endgame. And it's because the boss fights are really fun. And the mapping is... Decent, but it you know it's kind of a continued scaling mapping, right? Which is which is nice. You're slowly upgrading the tiers of maps that you can run. There's the various kinds of tiers, you're building out your atlas. It's a nice system. Mall, hello. How is that different from Rifts? Rifts are none of that. Rifts are just level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5. It's just the next Rift is just a little bit harder. The same exact thing. But there's no like, you're not building towards anything. You're not finding different kinds of maps. It's all just a random map with random monsters on it. So you're resetting it often to, you know, build to get the next one, whatever, as opposed to like, oh, this map is down in a dungeon and it's this and that. The maps have attributes on them that make them more diverse. You're rolling, you know, oh, this one has increased physical damage, less cold damage, right, whatever stuff. And again, you're, you're actually working towards stuff with the Path of Exile Rifts. You have the various, like, bosses that you're working towards. And lastly, they're not timed, which is my least favorite part about Rifts. Is that it's just not can you get through and do and challenge, it's just 10 minutes, go!
First time in stream, rekindled your love. Thanks, party. Happy to hear so. Now, I also think good end game in an ARPG is PvP, but a lot of games fail at that. But Lama RPG's PvP is gonna be the best. I've heard a lot of good things from Warren about it. Exclamation mark RP, Lama RPG, go wishlist now. What about SARPGs? What are SARPGs? Sad ARPGs? Are we closer to launch yet? Oh yeah. Oh, system ARPG? One day closer than we were yesterday. There we go. I mean, again, I think alpha... I think the aim with the alpha, we wanted to get a build kind of by end of March that we could put there and then start iterating on a little bit more. Obviously some bug testing, some various things here and there. But I was hoping that like by end of April, it'll be approved by Steam and we are like playing it on Steam, the alpha. I think that's a good goal. Have it ready-ish in the next couple weeks and then get it pushed a month later. Got it. The systems ARPG. Okay, well. First ARPG. Uh, well, Lama, Lama RPG is not an ARPG, unfortunately. It's a JRPG. Or fortunately. I mean, I'm very excited for it as a JRPG. But. We are integrating a lot of what I love within ARPGs. I need a key. And I went to Japan that one time, Raggets, obviously. Why did you become Japanese? Do I ever plan to make my own ARPG? The thought is when once we have Llama RPG, we can take it and then we can like move it over and create Llama ARPG out of it because they will share a lot of similarities in what I think are the systems and itemization and stuff that I would want for those. So we can kind of use our work and copy it over and kind of make, yeah, like two game modes, almost. I mean, you could almost even build it in the same world, in a way, and system there. And literally just have Lum RPG have a selectable turn-based or ARPG mode, which would just put you into the other game. You might advocate for switching off Godot for it. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how stuff progresses. Not a ruby. JRPG is Japanese RPG. It's just turn-based. What platform would we develop an ARPG on? Probably Unreal? That's probably what we would consider more. Oh, 
we don't know what'll be out at that time and everything, you know. Is there screenshots? Yeah, kind of. I mean, again, the the content. I need to put some better screenshots up. With like, once we have a combat screen, I suppose, and then with uh, what you might call it. Just with like items and that sort of stuff, I think it would be good inventory character screen. I think those would be good screenshots as well to have. But XMH Mark Lum RPG does have some basic screenshots right there. I can't carry anymore. If you say that looks like Pokemon, Stardew Valley, whatever. It's pixel art. Don't forget to wish this while you're there. Helps out the game. Jesus. I had 85 fire resists. What? The fire cold enchant stack? Just like. Does somebody have like that clip? Fire enchant, cold enchant. Jesus. What? Why is that doing so much damage when I have 85 fire res? Yeah, I mean, it was a double hit because I walked away to try and escape it, but... Barely even moved away. Two hundred twenty three life. Gone in two ticks with the Nokazin on. Yeesh. I mean, I thought Nokazin, like, were safe, you know? <sighs> Jeez, man, I was liking that run, too. Ugh. <sighs> Let's go online and kill another character, I guess. Why does fire res mean anything? It's half physical, too. I mean, but it's still a lot of fire. That's so nasty, man. Not 
not having any life, you just don't get any leeway. Rita Tornado. One up in socket. Yeah, didn't I have bone armor on though as well, Warren? To block the physical? Bone armor doesn't apply to that physical? What? Sure it does. It applies to doll explosion. Well, not the elemental piece, but the physical piece of it. Huh. That hurts. How much does it mitigate? Should be a decent amount. No, I had like 15 cold res. But the bone armor was probably like 200 damage. At least. The explosion can crit. Yeah, I mean, I think it crit. There wasn't Might Aura. There was a Holy Fire Aura. Just nasty, man. Just nasty. 2 to Marshall, 20 IES, 13 Strength, 9 Fire Res, 15 MF. Those are actually not horrible. Don't hate them. There's a Whiz Pike for... If he's any damage, if he just a lot of damage, he explodes and double no hit. Dang, you think so? Sucks. That was a, that's a lot of cold damage. You sure he's supposed to do that much cold damage? I mean, the first one I think crit. Unexpected death. Let's run it back. We've cooled off now. <sighs> I can't kill baby Lilith, so. Good day. Hey, 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 hey. All who oppose me. It's like no matter how much you try and 
prepare, you still just get one shot by double enchant stuff and Ugh. One to Enigma win? Let's just rush to the lower Karast and run LK as fast as possible. How many LK runs is it on average? Probably like 60 hours. P7 hell. It's just brutal. Could do a Sheesh. That's painful. Just painful. Online? No, I would do it offline. Forget online. That could be a, oops, a a goal thing, you know. Do like a streaming. We'll have sleep breaks, but streaming until Enigma. It'd be cool to see everything we find along the way and what all we do with it. It was just players one when I died. Do you like what or not like what? Oh, Godot. Would you have rather we done Unreal? Yes. I just felt like Unreal was too much for our project, you know, but when Lama RPG sells 2 million copies, it will get the love it needs. Bro, 2 million copies. If Lama RPG sells 20,000 copies, I would be blown away. That's fair, Warren. Good day. Fifty-four hundred on it there. Okay. What's the price now? Nine dollars ninety-nine cents. It's a rough one, Chris. We got Novad. Right now, it is wishlist only for Lama RPG. 
You can wish list it, you can follow it. Add exclamation mark Lum RPG there. The alpha should be I'm I'm aiming for end of April to have it out for you guys. Nah, I had 85 holy f or fire resist, so no fire damage was killing me there. It was a double hit from the Frost Nova. Because <gasps> I ran back a tiny bit. I was trying to avoid it completely. Is it catered towards any specific gamer types? Um, I definitely want to, like, it should be open enough to everyone, but I mean, that's also where I'll get that, you know, feeling. I'm definitely building plenty in for the grinder, right? But I want it to be open and fun enough, even in kind of silly ways. Not always, just sometimes it'll hit you twice. Even in just silly ways, I want it to be uh, fun enough, though, that you may not be someone who's going to go and grind it like crazy and get all of the hats and all of the things that you have to get, or can, can get. But you'll at least go and pick up some of the things, right? Hey, I got this hat that I really love. I think it's a really fun, cute hat. And you have fun with that. And then you, again, you don't have to have all of them or whatever, because you're not you're not competing in some crazy grind. So that's you know that's probably the like main aim is have it just be fun enough that you'll be able to enjoy it, whether you're super into doing a lot or just wanting to kind of mess around and get some things and oh it's a fun little skin I made and or you can go hard on the economy and trading and all of this and getting a lot more but there should be a lot of like grind for hats, there should be a lot of grind for PvP, getting the best uh, gear there. A little bit death. Um, should be plenty of grind, I mean just a lot of things. Can I say what is the game's budget? Uh, trying to keep it down, but Warren's costing me an arm and a leg. Which is fair. He does good work. I will say, we've already spent five figures on it. And, uh... You know. I... I Expect at the end, probably like 50 grand will be how much it costs. Which is cheap for a game, but also, you know, not cheap. <laughs> So, I haven't done any crowdfunding. Not yet. I will do crowdfunding once I can get the game in people's hands. So once the alpha is out, at that point, if you play it and enjoy the alpha, then 
that's like, okay, this is something I would like to crowdfund, you know. Cheap for a game, but not cheap for self-funding. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. For a game, yeah, it's cheap. Or for a game, I mean, it's, it's, it's cheap, yeah. But to self-fund, it's not. But I don't want to get investors, because I don't want to have influence from financial stressors of others, you know, where it's like, oh, maybe we need to figure out a way to make money on this. I feel like that's always how you end up having to put some other things in. So, we're taking it this way and hoping it, uh, works. Have we tried paying Warren an exposure? Yeah, he doesn't take it. Apparently exposure doesn't buy pizza rolls. Impossible. I can't. I can't. Nice race. What if I paid Warren in pizza rolls? Not a bad idea. So no private school for baby Lilith if it bombs? Pretty much. <laughs> On your Linux system requirements, about 2016, not 2026. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, wait, no, it is 2016. There's like no requirements for this game. All the RPG streamers will like this likely pick this up. I mean, that would be amazing, you know? Like, that's the thing. I'm not counting on any of that. I will, of course, offer it to any of, uh, any of the streamers that want to jam on it 100%. But, you know, it's like, streaming is, is people's livelihood. So... There's no expectation that they will take, you know, their livelihood and, and spend that time there on a game that's, you know, it's indie unknown game and whatever. But yeah, like Darth, Darth said he would give it a try and that's awesome. I mean, do I plan on sponsoring some of my friends just for exposure? See, that, that's the thing. It's locked. I, t I don't really have the money to sponsor my friends. It's expensive to like pay for streamers to play your game. And I'm self-funding this thing. I would I would burn up the budget so fast if I did that. <laughs> Epic. So, you know, it's, it, it, it'll be what it will be, but yeah. So I, I don't have any expectations. If, if any, you know, of the streamers want to pick it up and play it, it would mean the world to me, of course, but you know, yeah. I can't afford Asmund Gold, right? Like that's just, I can't. Oh, Jesus.
Maybe Zach Rar. Yeah, maybe I can afford him. How much does someone like Asmund charge to stream a game? I would guess if I want him to stream for a couple hours, it would be like 10 grand or something. If not more. I don't know exactly what his rates are. Could be higher. As an indie game, I could maybe ask, you know, a discount, but it'd still be probably around that. Like, I'm sure some, you know, Triple A game, it's like 20 grand. There you go, Epic. You can get discounts if you let them give their honest thoughts. That's true. That is, that is also true. I mean, I would let them give their honest thoughts. I wouldn't tell them they had to say anything specific, you know. But again, I I also I can't afford to. Even for 10k, I can't I can't pay 10k. I can't pay 5k. Yeah, you just naturally come by them, Revo. If not, you can always go get them really early, though. And Normal Cow King is a great spot. You can go to uh, Cold Crow for a couple of them. Have I ever met Asmongold? I have not. I've met a lot of various like RPG streamers. But he is, he is not one I have met. Could try asking lower tier streamers, they'd be cheaper than higher ones. It's true, but then they also have lower reach and, you know, all that, right? And it's... I mean, it's it's just a a matter of I don't I don't think I can you know whatever the prices of whatever streamer versus whatever return is expected I just don't expect it to be enough where I can take any risk on it and just be good at the publicity and all that. Oh, okay, thanks, Moo. That's kind of the problem. So the marketing budget is less marketing budget and more try and make the game so good that it doesn't matter. It markets itself. That is ultimately the uh, goal with the game. Have it be so fun. People want to play it because it's just a fun game. And at the same time, hey, someone just reached level five in uh, puzzles and survivor survival. A little bit of get a bit ago there. Thank you so much. Don't forget to rally a Larry. Just join an alliance to do that. Nice and easy, and it's another way to uh, easily support the stream. But I really appreciate it. Thanks for doing that while you were chilling and sitting there. Exclamation mark puzzles. Somehow got a snowball like Pal World and Helldivers and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know. 
How much did it cost to produce two rap songs? I don't know, like a hundred bucks? <laughs> Pay for a beat? <laughs> Hundred bucks, maybe. Pay a handful of medium RPG streamers to to stream it, play it for an hour or so. Yeah, I mean it's the problem as well is when people are just like when you're paying them to stream it, you have to pay enough and get enough people going that the category is staying high enough for long enough that people are seeing it and all of that, you know. I mean, I think, like, Last Epoch is even a decent example, right? They, like, sponsored enough people with it, and then it got enough, you know, going, and then they did well and sold well and all that. But it's like you can't just sponsor a few streamers because then they'll, they'll go in, they'll stream it for a couple hours, their audience will see it, a few of it will buy it, and that'll be that. You have to really put a decent amount down and you know buy Ziz, Asmin, Co, Dan, blah blah blah, whoever. Llama, Noogie, Rise, all these guys, and then they all stream it, and then it has a hundred K viewers on Twitch for four hours or whatever. And that's where you, it all works. But to do that, you need to be able to spend enough money to get 100,000 viewers on Twitch. Which means you're probably spending 50, 100 grand. I mean, probably like 100 grand. Would be my guess. For four hours of streaming. And I mean, I just... I don't have that marketing budget. So, you know... Yeah, play, paying some small streamers to do it just doesn't doesn't do a lot there. If it's good enough, you need to pay the streamer long enough to get invested, and then they will market it themselves. Yeah, but it's almost better to not pay the streamer and let them kind of like let it be good enough that. You guys all go in and say, play this game, and then they check it out, and then they decide to do it on their own. Because the thing is, once you start paying them, then they're going to be like, well, if you want me to play it more, why don't you pay me more? <laughs> all I want is chat to do the marketing for free? Yeah. Word of mouth is real. Word of mouth is probably the best marketing. I mean, again. That's how I did things like checked out Vampire Survivors. Vampire Survivors and played that for a bit and stuff. Because you guys were all like, yo, have you played Vampire Survivors? It's super fun. And so I went and played it. And I was like, oh, this is fun. And then I played it for a bit. I played for three hours. I played for more than three hours. But even three hours, if I could get random streamers to pick the game up for three hours, that's huge, man. That's thousands of dollars saved. You know? Lama RPG, farm to fable. Good day. So, you know, yeah, I mean, having that. Again, I'm just, I'm, that's my main focus right now, though, is not how to market it, how to get people to play it, all of that, whatever. My main focus is make a good game. Because if the game is good enough, and you guys are enjoying it enough, I believe you will go around and say, hey, yo, 
you guys gotta check this out. And enough people will say that, and then enough people will go and check it out and have fun with it. And then it'll be good, you know? Like, build it and they will come. Is the, the plan. Jesus, cold damage. Marketing it is almost like against what it stands for in a funny sort of way. I mean, I'm not like totally against marketing and it's totally fine, but Lama RPG's stance is kind of against the idea of heavily investing in marketing and all of this and pushing out a game that then ends up being garbage. Because there's just that so many games nowadays. All the money spent on marketing, all the money spent on, you know, getting streamers to play it, all the money spent on the, the videos that you see and going to the events and everything. And then they release a half-finished game that's just trash all around, you know. That's like the trend in gaming, right? So that's, that's where we're uh, trying to shift. That's also why it's named Llama RPG. Because it is not trying to be this title that's going to bring you in and sell you on what it isn't or anything. You know, again, it's like a, a little bit of a commentary on it. What is it? You, it's a game, you're a llama, and it is an RPG. That's what it is. That was me hitting level 5. Didn't take very long. I'm hitting Lair with Alliance in less than a minute. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, Merrick. Yeah, it really doesn't take long. It's, it's a pretty easy, like, chill. Especially if you just use your diamonds there and speed up. You know, the ones that you have. So, yeah. While, you, while you're chilling, watching the stream. I appreciate that a lot. That's exclamation mark puzzles for anyone else who's wondering. Um, had to rest my foot, so why not? A lot of archers on this seed, I agree. Rise of the Alpaca, the expansion. Yeah, we died. It's brutal. Hulk smash with the gifted subs. Ethrune, please. Ay, ay, ay. Good day. Ay, 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 ay. Last one was just warm up. It wasn't. I mean, it was a great great run. I was very sad to lose it, but it happens. I can't. Sometimes you just get nova man. How long do we plan on streaming tonight? Forty-eight hours. Let's see. I know, a bit longer. We got to play a little more uh, puzzles here. Yeah. 
Gotta have Taleth somewhere. As the kid, she's great! Almost one years old. Insane. Not a mod. Oof. She would abuse it. Not mature enough, just like Black Gamer. Some people can't handle the modding, you know. Streamer, I know you'd try. Okay. What have you paid Asmund Gold to eat a habanero pepper on stream? <laughs> it is a rite of passage. That is true. I need that. Hell Act 5 Ancients for this week gone. There she is. Alright. Can you eat habaneros in Llama RPG? There's no habaneros to eat in Llama RPG. No habaneros. Yes. Take twelve res for now. McCobb, what's up? How you doing? Appreciate that. What's uh, what's going on, bud? Is this Llama RPG soon? Very soon. Have you wishlisted it yet? It's on uh, the Steam store. You don't have Steam? Who doesn't have Steam? What? Hey, Llama. Great to see a late night stream. Hope you have a great weekend. How oh, nice, Endaris. Thank you, Maddie. Appreciate that. You don't have Steam straight to jail. Believe it or not. You do have Steam? Jail. Do have Steam? Don't have Steam. Wow, Macab, that's crazy. Well, maybe Llama RPG will be the game to drive you to Steam. Because I've heard a lot of good things about it. Through the grapevine. A lot of, lot of talk around the town about it. Were they all said by you? Okay, nobody needs. Nobody knows who said what, who started any of it. Demons about it. Sheesh. Thanks, Avian. Good 
Good things about Steam? No, good things about Lama RPG. Impossible. Again, this is just what I've heard from various people. Little whispers in the night. Steamy whispers. Before Nata and my KFC bucket. Ah, <laughs> hey, bloody. Slow torture of huge starvation. Not enough mana. Keyboard am I using? This is a custom built llama keyboard for all of my hotkeys and faster inputs and everything like that. Wish this did good luck. Thank you so much. It really does mean a lot. Like, super, super appreciate it, you guys. With real llama fur. That's right. No llamas were harmed in the making of this keyboard. Gotta have that disclaimer on there. Don't worry, Minders, it's not funny, anyways. Why not kill all the stuff? Ah, I'm almost level 18. We had to spend a little bit longer in the tower than we wanted. I will kill Champion Fallens though. Yum, 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 yum. That I will. Can I have Llama RPG earlier if I pay you $12? Uh, there's no paid early access for the game. But he has a price for everything. I mean, eventually there is some some price I do have. Yes. Not enough mana. Okay, we don't got everything. Some things I don't have a price for. I sense. Really talking me up there, huh? When is it going on sale for 67% off? 
can you give ten dollars for extra sash base? No, that'll you'll have to use your in-game llama coins. I don't know. I mean, maybe we'll throw it in Steam sales here and there. People seem to like Steam sales a lot. I think the game is already at the price of what it would normally be on a sale at. Game is worth $24.99. Easy. We're selling for $9.99. There be any $65 mounts. I'm sorry, there will not. No $65 mounts available. Impossible. Will it have rifts? No, it has pits. Back messing up. Uh, some of them's all idea. Is Kano an unlockable character? If he's a big supporter on the Kickstarter, yes. Will Llama TCG be paper, digital, or both? It'll be digital. Maybe someday we can move it into paper, but you know. Back to the hell that spawned you, Ontario. Go get yourself a, a nice chair, Warren. Good day. Not NFT, no. Turn the life on that. It'll probably be digital, but paper. So within Llama RPG, you will find Llama TCG, and you can play it within there. So you'll collect the cards, the paper cards, from there, within the game. So you can go sit down at the table and play against somebody paper-wise, but not really, right? It's digital. So digital paper. You have to print out the cards? No, you sit down at the digital table within Llama RPG. And play. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has a card game that way. Man, everything's already been done before. Impossible. Thought I was creating something new there. How far do you think you'll make this run this time? This one is going all the way. You know why? Because I named it Baby Lilith, and there's no way I'm letting Baby Lilith die. I can't. 
Wow, Mayo. Can you find a mate in Llama RPG? Not in the initial iteration. However, that is something that I have designed out in my notebook. Is relationships. You tried to define relationships? <laughs> yeah, but trying to define a relationship is apparently impossible. What are we, you know? That's the question. Um... So that's that's something. I, I like the idea of, you know, allowing you to marry someone in the game. And then have like the ability to always teleport to that person or you know small boost if you fight together in a party. Sachi, thank you. Just cute things like that. Or if you wanted to get away from your wife, well, there is a separate button as well. However, if both parties don't consent to the separation, you're going to have to serve papers, get a llama lawyer involved, and it, could, it becomes pretty messy, if we're going to be honest, but... Impossible. Do you split your loot and gear? Hmm? I can't. Can you buy a hotter girlfriend from another llama in the auction house? Well, women aren't property, so... No. I know, sorry to burst your bubble there. Impossible. I can't. But you can always pull up to the llama bar Impossible. in a rented Mercedes and see how that goes for you. Lamborghini. I can't. Mollus Gaming, thank you so much for the prime. Where did I get the nickname Llama? I liked the uh, spelling of it. As a kid. Is there a stream tomorrow? Yes. Stream tomorrow's 12 to 5-ish. Probably something around there. Is there a stream tonight? You need time to get nice looking? 12 to 4.30ish? I don't know. 
Where's the dinner at? Is it at their house? Lime RPG has mounts, but they're people? I mean, it is what I'm considering. Currently, there are no mounts, but I am debating mounts of people. If there's no food, where are you gonna go then? Mm, Olive Garden sounds good. No, there will be food. People mounts, but they ride you. Interesting. I think we should still ride them. But the world is supposed to be post-human in a way, so I suppose they could be, like, really just dumb humans. Some sort of mutated breed of human that doesn't speak. Why does Lama RPG even need mounts to move faster? Someone's gonna get weird with the fan art. You know what, that's a good point. No mounts. I can't trust y'all to not be weird. Like Warren. doggy backpack. Now that's cute. Please tell me the flower painting will be a card in Lama TCG. Why are you spoiling everything? My gosh. You guys just spoil all the surprises in Lama RPG. Why was that so close? How much damage does Frost Nova, a Frost Nova do? From Maggot Lair, level one. Seven, and I had 12% cold res. Seventy eight, apparently. Yeah, the blizzard gave us the countdown. All right, so Frost Novas, we just have to like avoid forever. Impossible. 
Impossible. Impossible. Impossible. Yeah, I guess chugging a thawing potions. Fortitude! Oh no! Map, what are you doing to us? Really? That's sad. I have not played Hades. It is a game I need to go play. You got it for me on Switch? Is it better on mouse keyboard than Switch? Or is it better on controller? I have not played RimWorld, but everybody talks about it in the uh, highlight there. Why am I so PC obsessed? Because PC is just so good. PC just superior, man. Plain and simple. I don't know. I don't make the rules. It's just how it is. PC snob, wow. It's just better. Mouse and keyboard has so many more buttons and actions and things you can do. When you're on a controller, you need like controller assist aims and stuff. I mean, it's just, you know. There's certain games that controllers definitely feel better on, but for games like this, PC gaming affordable long term though. Console is just five hundred dollars for several years. PCs give you several years out of them as well. This place you don't have to always be upgrading all the time. And honestly, with a lot of the quality now, it's like you could get an i5 and you know an older graphics card, 970 whatever, and you'll be totally fine for still a while. And again, you're not playing all the latest everything but I can't that that can run a lot of things it can run llama RPG so Right, and PC plays everything and has so much more to offer, whereas consoles are just a very small selection of games, and that's all.
Will there be a trading system in Lama RPG? Oh yeah. So there's already peer-to-peer -peer trading that's been implemented, but there's going to be a more in-depth uh, trading house and auction house on top of it that you can use. We designed all that in the docks recently. What a pity. I was beginning to enjoy the darkness. I ask. It is an honor to serve you. Yep, PCs also have the mods, which is nice. All the indie games. You can use a controller on PC. Impossible. It's just nice. Impossible. I can't. Impossible. Will Lama RPG have controller support? Yeah, it should. Teleport skill in Lama RPG? No teleport. You like playing your Switch in bed? Yeah, I mean, that's the nice thing, right? The Switch... That's why I think the Switch is, like, the best console. Is the portability of it makes it amazing. be in your office all night yeah I mean I don't mind actually I, I've always just kind of been like I'll hang in my office all night but I can appreciate the idea of having a switch or a tablet or whatever thing to have in bed this is fantastic I wish I had time to study this bizarre dimension Ugh. I can't wait to just like play Lama RPG in bed. I don't know, Warren. Does it does it feel like there's another game out there that's like Lama RPG that we're Lama RPG just feels like the game that's been missing in the world. Maybe I'm too high on it. Slightly biased. First way for baby Lilith? No. Good day. And we're done. I think you're biased. There's not a one form game out there, but I wouldn't call it innovative? What? You wouldn't call Llama RPG innovative? What's wrong with you? There's so much innovation. Look at that combat system. Look at how we're tying together so many pieces. Look at the professions and the crafting. Your whole shtick is copy-pasting other games? Only sometimes. Only the systems that work and are easy. The crafting system is very unique. And the way that you engage with professions is very unique. And the combat system is very unique. That's three unique things. Now, peer-to-peer -peer trading? Yeah, we'll just copy that. Trade house, auction house? Yeah, I mean, World of Warcraft did that. I don't think 
combat or professions are unique, but the combat design. Wait, what? The crafting design is decently unique. Yes! Let's go, baby! Unique crafting. Nailed it. Alright, a little bit menders, but it's so much more than that. Somebody had to recreate the system, but improve it. Lama RPG is new Neopets. Heard it here first. Innovation. Wow, copy-pasted from EverQuest? Yeah, I mean, a lot of games. Even Diablo 2 copy-pasted a lot of stuff and got inspiration from EverQuest. D&D &D to EverQuest to Diablo 2. Copying is just in the nature of uh, making a great game. Wow, we fourth played again. Jeez. Mama's got to play some more of the big popular RPGs to get more inspiration. Impossible. I mean, you know, maybe I don't want them all to taint my uh, thoughts. Which, which ones do you think I should play? Smart death. And why? My thought is, I have a lot of ARPG experience, and I'm kind of bringing that... I feel like I played a little bit of Oblivion. Or was it Elder Scrolls? One of the two. That was a while ago though. Elder Scrolls Oblivion, that was the full name? Okay. Oblivion to No Scrolls game, okay. But I feel like, you know, we're bringing my MMO ARPG knowledge to the creation of Llama RPG and a JRPG, and that's where we're really going to get the uniqueness from. I might go ahead and buy that. What do you mean which games you should play? Obviously Heroes of Might and Magic 3, and the why is because we've bought you two copies already and it's one of the most popular games of the same time period as Diablo Tomb Llama Rage. Moo! Moo! Is that a JRPG that is the classic that I should play? SRPG, close enough. I'm not unwilling to try new games. I try new games all the time. I mean, pretty soon I'm going to be trying out Llama RPG Alpha. I also have a baby. You almost have a toddler? 
Impossible. Truth. I can't. Oh my god. I can't. Jesus, how do I... How do I get out of this stupid channel? Leave... Channel? I hate the chat so much. I'm stuck in a whisper. So I can't change... Okay. How did... Yeah, they they screwed all this stuff up. I don't want to message this person. How do I, like, delete it? Um... Tab Help isn't me. doing it. Make it to the end, D bro. D off to bed. Truck driving overnight is <sighs> killing me. DCU llama jam llama Down jam. Arrow? No. I did slash channel leave, I thought, oh. I did, I did leave channel. Jesus, that is annoying. Good day. Bloodies with the 420, thank you. Oof. Truck driving. It's tough. Greetings. Well, this is their new way of ruining all this stuff with that, so. Kind of life is okay there. No. Good day. I mean, better than what we got right now. Zortosis, the StarCraft guy who lives in Korea. Good day. Hmm. He's been in Canada for two years? Good day. Lived in Korea.
I mean, technically, that doesn't narrow stuff down much at all. I know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nice. Mm. All right. Let's uh do this for a little bit. Oh my god. Quit it. Blue stacks. There we go. I thought I had one. Professional streamer. Yeah. Mm, our currency. We have headquarters level eight. Oh, hold on. Let me here. Can you make the game bigger and me smaller? No, we cannot. Now let's go help out with Alliance Tech. And uh, Tech Researcher. It took me way too long to realize that they they go up and only hit what's like above them. So I was killing, I was like solving all these things, but it didn't matter. It wasn't hitting anybody. Nice. Progress, system messages. We got Chester now. Mm -hmm. 
I'm, oh no, we can enhance her though. Nice. That what room turned into our nursery? Is that my old stream room? Right, maybe we just can't be chilling on the couch all the time. Playing Stardew. Yeah, that was when the HVAC went out, so I streamed over there, because... Yeah. You are pregnant, actually? Really? Another baby and we get couch streams again? I guess so. That seems to be the uh, the deal for it. Nice. 959 diamonds, let's go baby. Leaderboard, interesting. Title still says Diablo 2. No. Sorry. Puzzles and survival. Exclamation mark puzzles. If you wish to check it out, help out the stream. You get headquarters level 5, which we just did. Right there. <gasps> That helps out, and then if you do a uh, raid a lair as well. Oh my god. Ten? Nailed it. You move. Appreciate it. That's what I like to hear, I'm sure. Paladine. Thank you very much. Alright. Gotta have some nice recruits now. That. I need more of those. All right. Let's enhance Barbie and Chester. Oh, I'm sorry, Chester. Let's get your story gems at least.
18 pounds. Our little baby girl. Research center yet? Alright, let's go build that. Right, it's stuck at twenty five. Looking good, thank you. Let me try it. I feel like our heroes are way overpowered for the rats. It's also interesting, something I learned. Joe Cronin, thank you very much for the super chat. Five dollars from Joe Cronin Show. D4 is now D3 and last Peapock Law. Funny enough, I love D3 and the sort of call some <laughs> Sounds perfect for you. But they also have damage uh, types. So, if you look, red beats green, green beats blue, blue beats red, and yellow's good versus purple, but purple's good versus yellow. So if you look at like the base, like this guy is purple, so yellow is stronger as him, blue is stronger as him, yellow is stronger as him. So it also is interesting, because now you're not just trying to line up exactly on the spot, but also, you know, if you want when you're getting into like harder levels and you can't just auto it. Can't figure that stuff out. So green would be like the ideal here, but we don't have any green to set up. Give her her medicine. Okay. Well, did she get her medicine? Okay. She's good then. She got her medicine. on the dog bed, everything else is beside. That sounds about right. Gotta do some campaigning. I prefer the other parts. Upgrading the base, going out raiding, doing all that stuff, but... Have I ever met a streamer Rachel K? I have not. Why would you... Rachel K? What do they scream? Loading. Right shoulder. Oh my god. Dude, I'm getting owned right now. Oh, stay alive! Oh, that was close. Lives in South Africa? Oh yeah, definitely on different times then. I don't 
I don't know them. But they live in South Africa, they've also never probably not gone to the same events that I would have gone to, and so... Too many streamers to know all of them. Is that your friend or just someone you enjoy watching? Alright, this one might be it. We might lose on an auto. Just really watching. Like her gameplay. I mean, that's what I would assume you would enjoy watching. I don't know what else. Mark puzzles. Go have her download and enjoy. This is the, like, chill mobile games that I play. Let's kind of relax. Join the rally. No, March just exceeded. Unfortunate. It's fine. Let's go attack uh, level five. Troop might is too low. Oh, I need more troops. Fair enough. Touche. Research now. Let's do food research to start. Development, there we go, let's do construction.
you can really free to play a lot of these games and just have a good time. Especially the ones that have, uh, like, alliances where you only need one person, like, leading, not one, but a few leading rallies or something. New member, what's up, Juan? How you doing? It makes it so you can just kind of have that person have the, like, the, the stuff, the training, all that, and you just kind of chill. It's nice. And you just, like, join in with them, you know? So you just need, like, you know, generally the rally leaders, if they're, you know, going to be pay to win people, then they're the ones that are paying. Heroes and that stuff. You just can't show them. I think this will make you feel better. Do you need help? Perfect. Here to chill. Appreciate it. How you doing, man? Happy to have you here. Upgrade Make my camps get better. T2s yet? No, level 4 can't. Okay. Upgrade to level 4. Now we can train the T2s. Hey! Whoever just reached level 5 at headquarters, appreciate it. Remember, you can, uh,. Rally and attack on a lair. Uh, level four infirmary. Okay. Coughing. <laughs> Do I listen to any rap? Exclamation mark rap. That's my rap that I made. I'm from Dallas, though, one. Yeah, the coughing is a bit exaggerated. Okay.
Yeah. It like mixes multiple different game styles together. Like, yeah, if you want to do a little of the, the puzzle stuff over here, you, know, you can have a little fun with that. I prefer the other piece even more. Of just like building the base, being with the alliance, doing raids, raiding against other players, and all that stuff is not fun. Make the red. No, wrong way. Research and development, construction, perfect. Okay. Now let's go back. The music is kind of Terran Starcraft. I don't know if I quite get that. Just the guitar at the home base. Oh, okay. of the round, I believe. Wait, llamas of the round didn't fit. We can go see. It is usually good to get some VIP points. VIP is always so good to go for. Um, Llamas Zombas. How do I write something there? I want to write something on it. Operations. I am the leader. Wait, what? How is he the leader? I made the alliance. Did they vote me out? Impeachable. I, this is my alliance.
They voted. They kicked me out. They booted me down somehow. Impeach leader. Impeachment rules. Oh my gosh. They impeached me. I spent my hard earned gems on this alliance. And then they impeached me. Wild. I love it a little bit. It's hysterical. That's... I'm, I'm here for it. I love it. That's so funny. They straight up just kicked me out. Well, they didn't kick me out, but I guess they could too. Well, it's full, so I don't think you can join it, unfortunately. And I can't kick someone out to make room for you either, apparently. It filled up fast, though. Like, I made the alliance, and then the next, like, at like 6 o'clock, and then the next day I logged in, and it was filled with 55 people. I was like, what? Sorry, I would have had you in the alliance. But... Apparently, people are looking for alliances left and right, flooding. Yeah, I, don't know. I 
always like base levels. They're just like chill, you know? Level 5, remember to go rally a lair. It is super easy. A nice, uh, easy new way to support. You chess. Just arrow. Alright, boss time. Baby, baby's great, man. We're like, we're we're so lucky that we got a such a chill baby. It's just like, just a happy baby, you know. Just happy, having a good time. worried like when we have a second baby it's like is that gonna be just terrible because we've come to expect now just so much you know like oh yeah the baby's just all happy go lucky and kind and everything and then we get there and it's like what That you're supposed to just be happy and easy, baby. So. Jesus. So that's that's my uh Fear, thoughts, everything. Troop might too low still, even with those nomads. Oh, I need 5,000, okay. She's not quite walking, but she is, she's like almost walking. She's, she's starting to get around to like taking those steps just about, you know? So we're, we're, we're getting the first steps just about. Please select one of the following. Uh, yeah, let's take the food.
interesting. Soon she'll be all over the place. Yeah, I know exactly. She most definitely will. But it'll be sweet, you know. I'm excited for it. It's already fun to like see her walking around. It just like it just cracks me up. If I'm gonna be honest. I just absolutely die at her just like today. She just started crawling and she literally just crawled to wherever. She just like left the room. We were in there and she just like started crawling out the room. Didn't even say bye. Turned the corner. You know, I was like following her around and stuff, but it's like. Oh my god, baby. Yeah, she moves just... Just like, I got places to be. So, don't bother me. Keep up, dad, you know. Train T2s now. It's super cute though, but All right, so we'll have headquarters overnight there. Gotta get a four star a hero. Grow up before I know it, can run D2 with me? I know, right? Getting so big. You need to be training T2s as well. Right. And then we'll I'll run you guys through. Okay, there we go. Building upgrade. Nice. And who do we want to upgrade? I guess Chester. 30 required for that evolve, okay. We'll evolve you. Doc. I think this will make you feel better. I'll take you to 20 at least. Right. Yeah, 
goodness. Good enough. Factory. I guess I need to upgrade the infirmary as well. Trap factory is on the way. Yeah, let's do a little campaign. on my characters when I'm busy. I mean, play with her. A little bit of both, maybe, right? Join. Let's go a six combo and help out the stream. I know we can do now. We have enough troops that we should be able to go fight that level five as well. camp will have to do here. And 
Perfect. How do I like Tulsa? I live in Dallas now, but I used to used to live in Tulsa there um, when I, I went to school there. It was great. I really I really liked it. I thought it was a nice school. It was decent cost of living overall, which was really nice. Um, you know, like here. I don't know. I, I feel like here the you know you'd rent like a a two bedroom apartment for like two thousand, and in Tulsa it was like twelve hundred, or it was like a thousand back then, nine hundred. Now it'd be like two thousand. It's probably like fourteen hundred, but it's still like a little bit cheaper. You live forty five minutes from Tulsa. Oh wow. Which direction? So I, I liked KC. I went up and did some training in KC when I was uh, becoming a database administrator. So I was up in like Overland Park there and stuff. It was fun. It was a really it was a really nice area. Yeah, me too, Eagle. Stillwater. Nice. I lived in Tulsa and I lived in Bartlesville. That's where you're at? Nice. Yeah, I, uh... Oh, I liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, I would consider moving back around there, honestly. Like, I, I liked it for sure. Dallas is nice as well, don't get me wrong, but it is getting more and more expensive. Oh no, I'm 400 might short. Team did good last year to the playoffs. Oh, I thought you were talking about KC. I'm like, KC did great. <laughs> you had Dak and CD Lamb on your fantasy team. Yeah, yeah Cowboys. Uh, they they Cowboys did up a little bit. They just, just struggle in the playoffs, man. You know.
<laughs> it's okay, this is our year. This isn't our year. The previous years have been our years. This past year was our year. We should have made something happen, but they just they just disappointed instead. Sad man. This year we're just like kinda cruising, I guess. And uh Yeah, we're just like cruising around waiting. I think we're just waiting to fire like McCarthy and not extend Dak, which is crazy. I mean Look, Dak isn't the number one QB in the NFL, but literally like dude's got 36 wins or whatever in the past three years, like It's tough, though, you know? I mean, that's just... McCarthy is not a... He's too old school. He's not... He just gets outcoached in the playoffs and stuff. So, it's just unfortunate. Oh my god, just get... We have nothing over there, we just have to build up. Here we go. Alright, finally. <laughs> Maybe we can fight this guy. Got the dock out. That's good. Texas storms are great this evening. Is it storming again here? I know it's supposed to storm a little bit. Starman. Nice. Right. Boot camp. Enjoy this game. This is our sponsor for the day, Puzzles and Survival. Or for the week, I should say. Exclamation mark puzzle. It's got like a mixture of uh, various things then. Jeez. I don't know if we'll be able to do anything with that zombie tide. Yeah, 
Yeah, but with zombies. Upgrade two heroes to 31. Oh, we have nobody else close. Alright, we can enhance you at least. Twenty minutes, but the cold front arrived. Your power flicked five times. Wow, is it that bad down there? My goodness. Oh, that's not coming up this way. Let's get these guys. Red up. Let's try and like a couple more of these dudes, so then we can. Uh... Gonna fight the level six on. Going straight east? Okay, good. Yay! Great. Two level six boot camps, okay. Dudes up. that that time thanks joe enjoy thank you everybody for being here for hanging out i do appreciate it exclamation mark puzzles in the chat if you wish to uh play if you wish to support the stream remember get to level five of the headquarters and then do uh just a rally on a lair so you just go find a zombie lair and you just do rally attack Nice and nice and simple. And both those will help out. And then if you get a five star hero, that uh, is supporting the stream as well. But otherwise, mwah, kisses to you all. I appreciate you guys being here and hanging out. I will be back tomorrow 
uh, with some more Diablo. So we'll we'll pick the Necro back up after another just rough death. I have an alliance created, but it's full and they they overthrew me. Apparently you can get impeached and overthrown. <laughs> So, yeah, rip. Who knows? Alright. See you guys. Have a good rest of your day. <laughs>